Good morning. Sophie, this is Sam and Carly. This is Sophie. Oh my lord. We hit the temperature perfectly. I wanted to be a brewer and wanted to make beer for a very long time. I remember um, being in the Navy and at the Naval Academy in the late 90s um, and taking chemistry classes and taking all of the chemistry and physics classes with the thought of applying it to making beer, which the Navy probably didn't love. Um, and then uh, when when I lived in Alaska, that's when I really got into home brewing. Uh, I lived um, very remote in the middle of nowhere, and you couldn't buy beer, so um, I started home brewing. And Emma moved up there, and then we moved back to Vermont and experienced the beer scene there as consumers, and got really excited about the kinds of beer they're making. And we knew if we were going to do a brewery, it was going to be in Westport. Emma and I both grew up in Westport, and we, it was really super important to us that it, that it have some meaning beyond just making beer. Westport is probably the best place in the world to make beer because the water is so amazingly good naturally, so we don't have to do much to it to make really good beer. Everything kind of came together a few years ago. This amazing building was for sale and we were ready to move home. And so we opened it three years ago. What were you doing when we were renovating? Probably playing with chickens. <laughs> <laughs> we spent an entire year living in Vermont and coming here every single weekend, dem doing demolition, um, you know, basically pulling our hair out to, you yeah. know, working during the week and then trying to get this place ready to open for the summer of 2017. So it was, you know, from, you know, the initial time of, you know, deciding, okay, we're going to open a brewery to this was probably a year and a half yeah. of like figuring out where we were going to be, whether we were going to build from scratch, where we were going to build. We were initially going to build up on Lidge Hill, um, hence the name. We've had um, a lot of family support to yeah, it it, it, it's not not just like did we want to have it in Westport? I don't think we could have had it anywhere anywhere else because we needed so much help, and there are so many people here who have helped us. So, uh, the history of the building and the history of water in Westport, I think, is a piece of what we do that that people don't know about. That is important. Is Westport bottled water was sent to the city, um, and. President Theodore Roosevelt had Westport water sent to the White House. Um, so as we kind of unpacked what the building was, and of course, because it was built as um, water and cheese and milk processing, it's perfect for brewing. So it's been not just like getting to know the business of brewing, but also just kind of having been gone for 20 years, coming back to the town and thinking, well, I know Westport, I, was, I grew up here, but you know, there's so much positive change um, and new there? families that, who have moved in that add so much to the community. So it's been kind of so cool. being new and being whatever local is at the same time. And Emma and I have been talking for years about what, what beer style, what is the flavor of the beer style of Westport. And we don't know yet, but we have to imagine it has to do with apples. Um, so. You know, we joke that like maybe Westport's beer is cider, but then there's so many hybrid things that you can do between beer and cider that um, there will be. We did our first cider last winter, last fall, um, and it's been really well received. And we'll do something that is in between a sour beer and a cider this fall. For our sours, I use a cider uh, cider yeast that came right off the apple, so it's it's our yeast. Um, but the issue is, with all things like, I'm brewing a double IPA today. That's what's gonna sell, that, this will sell four times as fast as any sour beer. So it's economics too. So my, my uncle's a historian and I'm always asking him, like I was like, what are the breweries that use pre-prohibition breweries? He's like, I can't think of any breweries in this area. Um, so I think everybody was doing their own cider, and I've had lots of local people say, you know, we used to do this with apples, you should do this, 
and so Emma and I are getting more into, you know, experimenting too. Um, they're this. Those are dirty. say something. Um, you need to say something, yes. Um, I'm getting an amulet that can help me talk to fairies. <laughs>